Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in yet again to Sports with the Fonz. I'm Matt DeFonzo and today in local high school wrestling we'll wrap up the Paul J. Finn Jr. Memorial Tournament before covering high school basketball, boys ice hockey and swimming. Paul J. Finn Jr. was a wrestler at Milburn High School who won the 1978 State Heavyweight Championship. He died on April 21st, 1999, but a tournament named in his honor began in 2004. In this year's contest, Roselle Park beat Caldwell 42-15 to capture their second straight tournament championship. Roselle Park's Bobby Vale took home the Paul Ceruto Outstanding Wrestler Award, and hometown television's cameras were there on January 11th at Milburn High School when the Millers faced off against Summit in the second round of the Paul J. Finn Tournament. Milburn is up 39-34 going into the last round of the matchup, but Summit can win with a pin, and the Hilltoppers take the match by a final score of 40-39. Summit went on to finish sixth out of the eight teams in the tournament, while Milburn came in last place. I spoke with head coach Mike Artiglare by phone, and he told me that it was frustrating to finish eighth in your own tournament, but also said Milburn had some good individual performances Saturday, but that he also would have liked to win one or two matches that day. He also says that you, quote, have to take the positives, unquote, from the losses, and that losing gives you things you need to work on going forward. The Milburn boys basketball team has a chance to move to 10-0 when they play the Barringer Blue Bears on Thursday, January 16th. So let's go to Matt's stats board now and write down a number one. One for one undefeated team that we've talked about so far here today. The 9-0 Millers were 10th in Essex County in the latest Star-Ledger ranking, but the ratings were leased before Milburn's victory over Westside Tuesday night. Westside was 8th in Essex County in the same ranking. And Chatham's boys ice hockey team is still on a roll as they head into their January 17th game against Morristown Beard. The Skating Cougars moved to 10-0-3. They still haven't lost a game yet with their victory over the Randolph Rams on January 14th. And get this, they have yet to allow a goal in 2014. So now we're going to write a two up on Matt's stats board. Number two, two teams we've talked about today that are undefeated so far this year. Chatham was number four in the Star Ledger's latest ranking of the top 20 New Jersey boys ice hockey teams. And in girls swimming, the Chatham Cougars have a chance to move to 6-0 when they face off against Westmore Central on January 16th. That's a three. For the trifecta of undefeated teams we've talked about here today on Sports with the Fonz, the swimming Cougars ranked third in the state in the last Star Ledger Top 20. That's all for Sports with the Fonz this week. Make sure to tune in again next week to see if all those undefeated teams we talked about can't keep their streaks alive. I'm Matt DeFonzo, now back to the news desk.